my dilemma is, Steve, is that even though that we're out of whatever, do I need to put a post-it note on my forehead? Do I need to get a T-shirt with an arrow point to him saying that I'm his mother, I'm not his cougar? Mm-hmm. Or what should I do? Now, keep in mind, Steve, I don't want to be his cougar, but I have no problem with being a cougar. So no, she but a, she's had a lot of experience being a cougar. Okay. Tell them, Bethany. In this room. Okay, all right. First of all, there's nothing wrong with being a cougar. <laughs> okay, uh, I mean, that's the, the first thing. And when you're out with your son, I don't think it's uncomfortable. You have to train your son. Like you got him his master's, you got to train him to be your wingman. Yeah. When you go exactly. out with him, you go to a yeah, right, you I go was to thinking the, the exact, bar, exact same, same thing. thing. You go to the sports bar, he goes up to the man that you have already picked out. He said, Hey man, what'd you think about that game last night? <laughs> Boom. And then he say, Look at my mama. Yeah, you guys mama. have to be great. You, got, you guys you got that's a great idea. You have to be running game. You took care of him, you fed him, you raised him, you graduated college. Now it is your time. So he's gotta take care of you and find you a man. Right. That's true. That's Yes, yes. Now, listen, can do that. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, that's... I am not a cougar. I'm more of like a puma. <laughs> <laughs> However, <laughs> I think your son's obviously getting a little bit embarrassed. So you yes. guys need to start adding mama and son into your language. And that's and then, what I do when yeah. we go out somewhere or something because we're very close and we laugh a lot. So what I do, or he'll say, is mama look at this whatever, and then I'm like. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Excuse me. My son is so funny. <laughs> exactly. But you have a wedding ring on. No, no, no. But are you are you winking no, at the I'm same divorced. time? You have a wedding ring on. That's more. What do you? No, no, no. This is. Trust me, honey. Let me turn this around. This sweetie, is it's not on a the wedding wrong ring. finger. Yeah, that means that's a deterrent. That's, that's, that's the problem. first problem. That says and you know, a lot of people have told me that too. So I need to flip the script. Absolutely. Yeah, why you got to wear? a lot of issues. We need another shelf. Yeah, but it's on the left hand, third finger. So I shouldn't have nothing on here, Steve. No. Why we don't want to wear shouldn't have nothing like this. Yeah. And, and put just be like that. The, this hand ought to be completely naked. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Nothing on his face. Okay. You can't wear. You can't wear anything on no. this finger. You put this on this right here. This is the signal. Now you're a married cougar. And you're blocking now the you're blessing. Married. Now, this, she good. said. That's she good. said. Now you're a married cougar. Yeah. Here's the deal. Oh, she didn't like that. First of all, your son cannot be your wingman. First of all, he is too protective to be a wingman. Secondly, here is the deal. Tell me, Steve. You and your son are close, but you are looking for the man of your dreams or your soulmate. Your son is a blocker right now because he's 25. Your son should be going out with people his own Well, I don't age. even hardly see him that much. Well, when you do here. see him, right. he blocking. OK, yes. yes. <laughs> and you already got the ring on the wrong finger. I and took you that off, Steve. It's so off. we take so. that off. OK. Now, when we see another man, it don't matter who he is, it knocks down the possibilities by 75%. It does. Because we, we cannot afford a confrontation of any kind. Absolutely. Not over a woman we don't know. Right. Second, your son is not a wingman. Right, not at all. Thirdly, you should just ask one of these producers to have the CLO, the chief love officer, bring you on the show and find <laughs> your soulmate. That's all I can tell you. Now, Thank you, Steve. Let me show you something. But, okay, Joshua is four years old, Steve. I take him to quiet. the mall. Be I quiet. Go- I have found this one two dates. She will not listen to me. She will not follow my instructions. I had a good man for this woman. I found a good man. She would not listen to me. Kim is single today because she don't listen to no damn body. Commercial. Commercial break. What? We'll be back. We got to go to... Black men do not hit on me, and I need you for that. Black men don't know you like black men. (laughs) Well, it's not, it's, well, <laughs> you, you have a nice shape, though, Bethany. Thank you. So it's not that you don't have it, you just don't have as much. Well, Andy Cohen says to me, you need to date a black man. I'm like, um, okay, so let's start. 
Okay. So I, I don't, I don't, they don't know I'm interested. I just want a man with some teeth and a job right now. <laughs> that was my requirement. <laughs> <laughs> Once she go that's black, what she'll they never go say. back. That's what that's what they say. That's just a saying. Hey folks, welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss a single hot new video. Some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now.